good day to you and how you be everybody well today we're printing that's definitely we're printing today we're gonna print some sweatshirts not hoodies sweatshirts and it's a seven color print on the back one color print on the front and neck labels but if anyone is asking for a seven color print and all you have is a four color press i have mentioned this before do not say no tell them to send you the image and if you you look at the image and if you could able to break it down into putting different colors in one screen take the job so right now let me show you what we're going to work on okay so this is the image that's going to go on back of the sweatshirts seven colors we have blue I put it in black, but this is supposed to be white, this is just so I can show you guys. You got the hot pink, you got golden yellow, regular yellow, green, and orange. Seven colors, four screens. How you break it? When somebody asks you, like I said before, make sure you figure out the design before you turn them down if you have a four color press. So this is what I came up with. Screen number one. This is the white. You see the white? Good there. Then this is the second screen. This is the yellow and this is the green. Put a little tape here and I'll be able to put the green and the yellow. The other one is easy. This one is the hot pink and the orange. And then the last one the golden yellow and the blue put a little tape here golden yellow blue and there goes your print which is this one here oh by the way i want to give a big thanks to my boy pete check him out he's uh his instagram is iheartbx he's a graphic designer he's the one that revised my logo my taino ink logo thank you pete but he called me the other day and told me that his company was throwing away a table. You know me. I had to take it. Check it out. Nice tables to put the shirts. Work. Beautiful table. Industrial. Now I could move it next to my press and make production a little faster. And the other day I was thinking about, I'm looking for a mirror for my door. And maybe a week after I was thinking that, I walk down and what do I find in the garbage? Check it out. Oh, nice mirror. Oh man, perfectly for that door. What are the chances of that? What are the chances of that? Let me tell you. But now let's get to work. Let me um, register and do some tests on this seven color print. And then we'll go with the front and then the label. So let's do this. you guys are wondering what color sweatshirts am I printing this on is on the color beige as you see beige sweatshirts from jerseys if there would have been dark colors I would have done the white the whole thing and on the base but like this is it's even better because now I just don't only do the white as a first one after I do all the colors I'll go back to the white and give it a highlight white which is gonna look Fabulous. So let's do this. What I do to 
separate them, I cut a little piece of film that I don't use no more, put some little scotch tape, separate them. Here comes the yellow, here comes the green, over here the blue and the golden yellow. Now let me put the pellet and let's register by doing the test run. Hope everything goes well. Came out beautiful. Seven colors, four color press, all the colors are right in its place. Woo, oh man, this is gonna be a beautiful job. Now, let me take my hoodie off and let me get to work because I gotta get these sweatshirts out of here. Real nice, came out lovely, came out lovely, man. I only had one issue was the yellow circle on the top, I sh it was too close to the green. So having that tape and it kept just flipping and dirtying it, a little longer process, I should have taken that yellow and moved it to another screen where I had a little more space, you know? But it was doable. That's the thing about when you're going to do these colors with only a four color press, the process is going to take a little longer. Hopefully, um, maybe next year I'll be able to move on to an eight color press. Woo! That will make my life easier, man. But now, let me just finish the front and the labels, and then I'll show you the final product. So let's do this. So if you guys are wondering why am I heat pressing the front, because when you're dealing with white plastisol ink on a sweatshirt, sometimes that little roughness, since this is a brand, I just want to make it nice and smooth. What I did was right off the conveyor dryer, take it to the heat press. The heat press is not on, flatten it really good and it gives it that smooth feel. You don't have to turn on the heat press, none of that. So it's a little time consuming, but it works great. Now, sometimes, things go smooth. But most of the time, there's always a headache. There's always some stress. This seven color print with that tape giving me problems and cleaning up took a long time. Now I'm here gonna do the inside label and out of all my sizes that I washed off the stencil, the M got messed up. So I had to go back to the dark room and guess what? I have no more screens. Now I had to wash a screen, put in motion, wait for it to dry meanwhile i was waiting i took my time and cleaned up the whole shop real nice put everything away i only got some squeegees left but now what i want to show you guys is ugh, what i do i use the hat champ let me tell you works great to print the neck labels because it has a pad so no ink is going to go through and show on the back 
Believe me, I have done it with thin shirts. I don't like using the regular sleeve palette because I'm risking if I have to use spray tack, I might stain the back of the shirt. Don't wanna do that, especially when you're dealing with light color fabric. So right now, let me go wash off the stencils because right now, look, it's already nighttime. I've been here for 10 hours. I gotta get this job out of here already. And then I'll show you the final product. The best part of the hat champ for neck labels is that you leave it right there, take it to the flasher and cure it right there. You don't have to deal with trying to place it in the conveyor dryer, none of that. It cures 15, maybe 20 seconds tops, but now let's go check out the final product. Job done, oh man. Let me tell you, I am super proud of this job here. It was not easy, those seven colors, very close, but they came out beautiful. Neck labels, the print on the front, taking it to the heat press to give it that smooth feel. Oh, he's gonna be happy. This is the third job I do for this brand. So I guess so far they like what I'm printing and I'm proud of that, man. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all, be grateful, and peace out.